Hey guys, it's your pal Steve. Now listen, this is Fan Appreciation Week, so we thought we would dig up some fun stuff for you guys. Sometimes we shoot some shows, some concepts that end up on the cutting room floor. And this particular one we're gonna show you guys was a lot of fun to make, a lot of fun to do, and we loved it so much, we thought you guys should see it. So check it out, hope you like the show. Whose signature is that, you think? <laughs> Source Fed Science. This is a new show where we do science experiments and hopefully learn something, right? Yeah. I hope I learn at least one thing from this show. We're gonna learn science and life hacky stuff. We're gonna be mad scientists. And teach you stuff you can use. In life. So today we are learning how to take a shaken soda can and open it without it exploding all Perfect over you. Shows how that movement works. We're gonna We're all gonna, gonna do it, it together. Yeah. Okay, so to start this episode off, everybody grab your soda can and shake. I feel like we're playing a Wii game. I know, it's like the Mario mini game. Yeah. How yeah. much should we shake? A lot. Yeah. Whoa, I hate you! Yeah! I hate you! <laughs> I wanted to have you aboard it! I didn't want to have you! <laughs> Research how we're gonna defizz without having it explode on us, but she's not gonna tell us. Before we go through what I think we should do and what Steve thinks we should do, we're gonna go over a few facts that might help us kind of get some good hypotheses going. So here's what we know. The fizz that's inside soda is made from carbon dioxide that's been pressurized when it was originally put into the can. Now the carbon dioxide normally sits at the top of the can, but when you shake it up, it goes all through the liquid. Much like a fart, carbon dioxide stays inside you. So the carbon dioxide is sealed up inside the can, and if you open it up, that carbon dioxide wants to escape like a mad bat out of hell. And if you shake it too much, the carbon dioxide's going nuts in there, and when you open it, that's what causes the explosion. Carbon dioxide and pressure. And liquid. So, Meg, no. what would you do to get this can? To get this can. Not to explode. So, my go-to is to tap it furiously. Is there a special spot on the top of the uh, can? I go tapping? center of the can here. Right in the middle. Tap that, that button, that's what she said. <laughs> Before we see if my idea works, Stevie. Yes. What are you gonna do? My method uh, when I don't want a soda to explode in my face is <laughs> I like to just take it and do phone jokes with it. Like, hello? Hello? I can't, I can't hear it. There's no reception. There's no reception on this phone. How many times has that worked for you? Oh, it's never worked. But we're gonna try it today. today. Sometimes yeah. what I like to do too is open it upside down and that, and you have just a moment before it explodes to and you fool your friends. All right, so uh, let's do one last shake before we try out everybody's hypothesis. So ready? Shake, 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 sh
effective in keeping your soda exploding in your face. Phone jokes, not so much. No, nope. messing around <laughs> with your soda can is not a good idea. Especially with all that carbon dioxide waiting to shoot out in your face. So what useful science experiments would you like to see us try next? Leave them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Or click this annotation to see our videos on YouTube or go to sourcefed.com to see our news and bloggy stuff. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turning. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I've got two more sodas to play with. Trisha. I think the ladies get the sodas. Why is that? Because you lost. Hi, uh, Steve Zaragoza. Of me. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs>